around 350 BC, Aristotle defined human beings as the animal that has language. <laughs> language above all is what differentiates us from the other creatures on the planet. The development of language freed us from a world of physical objects and substituted a universe of symbols. For over 50,000 years, only humans were the animal with language. But now, for the very first time, that is no longer the case. I mean, we share our world with computers. Everywhere we go, we leave a digital trail. All that data can be read and analyzed. But here's the thing. We still read at the same rate as Aristotle did. The average American college student only reads 450 words a minute. A computer can perform trillions of calculations every second. There's a physical limit to how much we can, as a species, process and absorb. There's no such limit for computers, as long as we give them enough processing power and memory. And on top of that, algorithms don't have imagination. Uh, they don't give in to panic, unlike humans. So that makes them ideally suited to trading in the financial markets. The solution was to choose one emotion for which we have substantive data, which is fear. Fear is historically the strongest emotion in economics. I mean, remember FDR during the Great Depression, the most famous financial quote of all time, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. In fact, fear is probably the strongest human emotion, period. No one wakes up at four in the morning because they're happy, do they? I mean, children leave the light on because they fear the dark. We put our money into safes because we fear it being stolen. We act on fear. With Fixel, we are able to correlate recent market fluctuations with the frequency of fear-related words in the media. And the conclusion we've drawn is that fear is driving the world like never before. The success we've had at this firm speaks for itself. The market has endured two years of panic, which has made our algorithm thrive because humans act in very predictable ways when they're frightened. 